Python is updating, but don't worry, once it's installed, it will only ruin all of your previous Python code. Actually, that's just a joke. Because these changes are small, and some are actually quite useful. In this video, I'm going to give you my top 5 changes that are coming with Python 3.8. For a full list of updates to Python, visit the website I have linked in the description. Now, quick disclaimer. This list is only my opinion, so depending on how you use Python will change what you consider to be the best or most important changes. Let's get to it. Number 5. New Functions in the Math and Statistics Package Python 3.8 is adding new math and stats functions that I think are very convenient. For example, math.isqrt, i square root if you will, returns the integer square root. It works as kind of like a floor function on the square root. Math.dist is going to be used as the Euclidean distance formula. I'm not sure why we didn't have that before. It's not difficult to compute, but having it just makes things so much more convenient. Math.hypo, which is short for hypotenuse, does the Euclidean norm, which can be applied to multiple dimensions. Statistics.normaldist.from underscore samples will allow you to quickly create a normal distribution based on sample data. Overall, I put these at number 5 because they can be very helpful and most of all convenient when using Python for computational purposes. They are maybe not necessary, but convenient nonetheless. Number 4. Compiler Syntax Warnings for Commas This is a great update. Have you ever had a syntax error that made you scratch your head because you couldn't figure out what was wrong with your code. Any form of syntax warning or helpful error messages are great. This will speed up the debugging process for many. No need to stress about missing commas anymore. Number 3. Continue statements in finally clauses. Continue statements are now officially going to be legal in the finally clause. Apparently, the only reason they were illegal in the first place was because of an error in the source code. But now that is fixed, and to me it makes a lot of sense that you should be able to continue after a finally clause. I'm glad they finally, no pun intended, <laughs> got this one figured out. Number 2. Walrus Operator The Walrus Operator is a new feature in Python that allows you to assign values inside of if statements. Just use the colon equals and the value you are comparing will also get assigned that value. This can make code more concise and faster to type. It's very convenient and a clever idea. You can thank Emily Morehouse, who was the contributor for this awesome new update. Number 1. F-Strings For those of you not familiar with F-Strings, they allow you to print the value of a variable. So you can type F, F quotes, and brackets, and whatever you put in the brackets is the name of a variable, and it will print the actual value of that variable. It's very convenient in titles and debugging. But now it's gotten even better because in Python 3.8, f-strings can now include equal signs. That's right, you can do computations inside of your f-strings. Debugging will be a lot easier and awesome. So there you have it, my top five Python updates coming with Python 3.8. 
I hope you enjoyed this list. What would you include in your top 5 Python 3.8 updates? Is there anything I left out of this list? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please check out some of my other Python videos, and if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. Thank you.